course, uh, esteemed co-host of uh, Rock Lee Smile. Hello. I've decided today's conversation would be, would you punch a kangaroo to save your dog? Oh, you like that on, video, eh? on wow. that subject, Michael L. Fox, how you doing? Uh, well, I can tell you I'd punch a kangaroo <laughs> square in the jaw if it came between me and a poutine. <laughs> on, <laughs> on today's show, we're going to play Ultimate Chicken Horse, we're going to play Speedrunners, and we're going to play Pinterio, and we're going to talk about whether we'd punch a kangaroo in the face to save our dog. Am I the only person that watched that video and realized it's fake as shit? Would you punch a dog to save your poutine? No. I know Ryan would. <laughs> I would not. The poutine is not worth the, it's not worth the hassle. But I'm being I'm being real with you. That video's fake, right? No. It's a wow. good fake if it's fake. It's I real. I don't think it's, it's that fake. good of a fake. It, the the camera angle is so suspiciously perfect, and the, <laughs> the way the kangaroo squares up to it, the way the dude does a little like boxing dance before he punches it in the face. That's not the way a desperate wow. man throws a punch. So you're saying well, they staged punching a kangaroo in the face? I'm saying no. that's fake and in two months. Remember this clip. Somebody's going to be like, yeah, we made that for our uh, viral video portfolio that we're using to market to advertisers. <laughs> I, I fucking guarantee you. You know what, Ryan? You should submit it to Captain Disillusion and see if he can find out if it's fake. Because he's the guy to, to ask. He's the dude who paints like half of his skull, right? Yeah, yeah, he paints it all with, uh, with the shiny and chrome. Uh, because he lives, he dies, he lives again. Sweet, that's nice. Let's, yeah. uh, let's... Let's play some ultimate chicken horse. I'm loading the tree house. Yeah, I've been trying to invite people, nobody wants to come in though. Nah, the, the, I got the second one, the first one just didn't. Yeah. Oh, am I double people? You were? Are you double people? Now you're not though. Okay. okay. We're good. I tab back in this time, it got me. Mouse cursor. It's missing, awesome. I can't see the thing. Mouse cursor, there you go. No, we're all in, we're all in. Oh, we're all in, okay. The thing is, um, the, the other thing is like, like, I don't know, it, I, I, like, how do you, how do you fake that? What do they have an animatronic kangaroo? Like, it's not CGI, right? Right, Dude, also really kangaroos do that. It. Are you actually fucking with me? Like, they can make movies where, like, a big transforming robot alien sucks up a whole planet. And you're like, yeah, how can well, they make a realistic looking kangaroo? No, but that's, that's different though. Like that's that's like th those are like there are certain things like you could do rotoscoping for like really easy fake shit, but like it, like something like making a realistic CGI kangaroo and a CGI dog too, like that would be pretty hard. The dog might not and the be interaction CGI. of the fist and the kangaroo is is oh. complicated. You guys are out of your fucking it's minds. Real. Like, actually. Okay, you know what? Kangaroo. I think it's real. Are part of Australian culture. They freaking eat the motherfuckers for crying out loud. I'm aware of it. Why this. not learn how to box them too? You know, they're a threat. Yeah. I'm just saying this learn. is. It's gonna be just like that video where like the the eagle swoops down and picks up the child and then drops it a little later and everybody's like you know re re forward you got to see wow. this re re and then <laughs> you know like a year later the company was like oh yeah that, we did that that was uh nice. temple knight apparently linked to snopes article it says it's real no snopes i don't buy it itself is fake, snopes so. i don't i don't believe snopes they make up their snopes? own myths so they can bust them exactly around. follow the money <laughs> cogito ergo sum <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't find it too unreasonable, though. Kangaroos are, like, assholes. Yeah, and kangaroos do that. They choke out dogs. Like, that happens. And they do have arms. <laughs> yeah. They, have arms. they actually do that. I was gonna ask, what did the kangaroo want with the dog? But I guess he wanted to choke it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. They, do. they fucking do that, dude. Like, they're oh, fucked up. They're fucked up creatures. Yeah, that's why they, they, they cook them. You could come come to the place in Toronto that has this, they have kangaroo sausages. Am I still alive? So you're saying I'm like the alive. best course of action is to, to punch the kangaroo to get the dog back? Well, I mean, yeah, there's no then, doubt that kinda. Like, if your pet was being attacked by another animal, you'd be like, hell yeah, I'm getting in there to shut that shit down. What? I know yeah, that a kangaroo can disembowel me in one movement, though. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, that's the problem with that video is it ends, like, right after he decks it in the face. And you're like, well, what happens next? Because, no, like, he let go of the away. dog. Yeah. No, he walks away. 
Does he? Because it looks like at the end he fucking squares up like he's gonna he's gonna fucking I... get into some boxing moves and I'm like, don't do that. Don't keep fighting. No, the he walks away. There's, he walks away. There's a full length or a more lengthy one where it shows him driving in. He jumps out of their Jeep and then, you know, goes up, punches them, and then the kangaroo's like just standing there for a second. <laughs> bewildered, and then he kind of runs away and the guy walks away. I mean Oh my god. I'll honestly, I think if it's a fake, it's a really good fake. I'm, I also I think it might fake. work like the shark principle, where you punch it in the nose and it swims away out of confusion more than pain. I'm giving it a couple years before I sign off on this being real. That's Can all. Can we I'm get saying. a hashtag shark principle though? Like oh, actually, oh yes. <laughs> Can we get a hashtag shark principle and then also a drawing of a principal of a school who is a shark? <laughs> it's a shark. Yeah. Not um, shark. He's your pal though. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's just trying to. He's just trying to look out for you. Thank dude you. had a knife, and at the end, when the kangaroo squares up, the dude had his hand on his knife. I don't think that's gonna save you, though. No, that kangaroo can fucking disembowel you with his fucking his feet. Well, you can disembowel the kangaroo with your knife. You and choke out dogs. Yeah, but like, I think a kangaroo's feet has more range than a fucking. Oh, I got punched. That's um, why the guy distanced himself. You could see, he was uh, when he was positioning. He made sure not. To get uh, his his leg and torso too close. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord! You're giving hate... this guy a lot of like uh, a lot of points for thinking really logically in the moment. Well, I mean, did he not successfully save his dog? Yeah, like, he that's, did. that's the end of the video. If, everyone's if like, well, believed. everyone's like, well, the kangaroo was gonna disembowel him. He's like, he's alive, right? Like, we have yeah. the footage. I don't know. Kairos Edgera wasn't alive, and we thought he was alive for a while. I mean, he was alive when he when he saved the people on the Seattle's L train. Yeah. I, the worst part is it wasn't even a challenge. Honestly. I just I miss him. I wonder if it was yes. a challenge for a Kangaroo Man. How so? Well, I mean, like, did he? Was he like? Was he like? Yeah, I punch kangaroos all the fucking time. Oh, so Chad says he's a zookeeper. That would explain it, actually. It doesn't matter. I don't believe. I, I'm giving it two years. Uh, the jury's out for me until two years, because everyone's like, "Yeah, I've read, I've read his story about it." Okay, okay sure. S okay, chat. Someone wow. tweet Captain Disillusionment. He's the man to ask about these kinds of things. Marvelous McGee, thank you as well. How his, they... whole, his whole channel is based around this. Here's here's what gets suspicious for me. It's solely the fact that he squares up like he's actually going to box the kangaroo. Which strikes me <laughs> not as a desperate action. That strikes me as something manufactured for virality. No, or he, mm. like, he, he wanted to do that. Who doesn't want to punch a kangaroo, you know? If he's a zookeeper, he knows how they fight, and he wanted to fight them on their own ground. But you're taking it on his word that he's a zookeeper, which is why I'm, I'm giving it... taking it on chat's word, because they never lie to me. That's why I'm giving it two years. Okay, okay, let's let's theorize then how would they fake it outside of CGI because I honestly think that's that's not even possible That's ridiculous. I don't, the things I don't that think that you're saying to me are ridiculous right now <laughs> Peter, Peter I, called I, for the guy to be fired apparently. Yeah, but Peter does that for everything They yeah, want yeah, Edmund McMillan point, yeah. to burn in hell because he made a game called Super Meat Boy. Yep. It's <laughs> a good point. Yeah They also kill more dogs a year than like the zoo dogs. apologized I still, really? don't, I still don't buy it. I still don't buy it. I need, <laughs> I need more of a for what? I need for more dog? of a paper trail for punching oh, the kangaroo in the face. But the kangaroo had it coming. Oh, he yeah. did, yeah. Doesn't the zoo know they choke out dogs? Yeah, apparently they choke out dogs all the time. Well, why is a kangaroo less valuable than a dog in your world, Nick? Uh, I don't know. I guess because, like, the do the dog and the guy, like, have a friendship that goes back a long time. So I think it's more that I'm just sympathizing with the guy loving his dog than the kangaroo that has, like, malicious intentions. R Nick, don't play Ryan's game here. He would do what? the same thing. <laughs> Ryan? And he said that? Everyone's like, come on, NL. Cat. Everyone's like, come on, NL. Come on. Come on. I'm not saying you can't believe it. You can believe that there's magic in the world. That doesn't bother me. Okay, I'm just saying... Ryan. I'm not going to accept that it's real until two years from now if nothing has come out. And you know what? what? If, I... if, if I end up being wrong, then that's fine. But people are like, well, we, we're Australian. We do crazy shit all the time. Sure, that doesn't mean that this happened, Oops. though. I mean, I'm with you. I'm usually a very skeptical man. But uh, I don't know. It's just like wow. I I feel like it's it's 
it would be really difficult to fake that um, outside like of barring CGI. <laughs> like the only thing that you could possibly do, like like the only thing I could think of is you do like some rotoscoping stuff, but then you'd still need to have a kangaroo choking out a dog, and that's yeah. probably not a Dude. good thing that you want. What You're... if I were choking out Tomo, Ryan? What would oh, you I'd, do? Oh, I'd get on your ass. I'd stab you in the throat <laughs> with a screwdriver. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of screwdriver? I don't know, like whatever Canadian I'm... One. Probably Flat get, tell me. Probably get no. a Phillips. Robinson, you ding dongs. What is a Robinson screwdriver? Is, is that star? No, you can't afford it. <laughs> no, it's square. It's oh, like okay. Cute. In two years, remind me, and I'll be like, you know what? My my window has, uh, has evaporated. I guess that was real. But... <laughs> I want like 1500 times the credit. If this if a year from now people go, "Hey, check it out. This like viral marketing advertising agency has that kangaroo video on their portfolio." I want the credit. But what are they marketing though with a kangaroo well, They're show they're marketing themselves to to like Budweiser. They're like, "Check it out. This video that we made got um, you know, 500 million hits in a month." <laughs> what do I get for trusting it though? You know, the the knowledge Nothing. that, you know, the world is not a cold, dead place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tevo underscore, for the 27 months and vegetable platter for the 22 months resubscription. And rapid. So be totally clear, the way that you suggest that they did it is with CGI. I, it doesn't matter how I'm suggesting that they did it. No, I'm I'm just curious because like I want to I want to. I'm not a filmmaker. Like, I don't I don't watch you know I didn't watch Ultron and go like oh how did they make the sprockets wow. inside of Ultron's robot body like <laughs> they they did it, it's done. No, that's Ultron is practical effects. Oh come on. Yeah, what's his face is in a bodysuit. James Spader. Yeah. Have you seen Robert California? There is no way that is a bodysuit. He's like a sixty year old man. <laughs> I love Robert California. <laughs> the Lizard King. I love Hotel California. What if Tomo was choking me out? Would you punch to Tomo in the face? I, honestly, it's the same as like Rob getting into a fight. I would think wow. that you probably did something to deserve it. He yeah, he would kill you just because. He's like, no, just to help time. Tomo out of the jam. Yeah. By the way, apparently Captain Disillusionment already made a tweet about this. Yeah. And he's oh, like, yeah? He says, look, if I made a video every time an Australian punches a kangaroo for holding a dog in a headlock, I'd have too many videos. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's real, though. <laughs> I think it does. I want to believe it's real. I that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's part fine. of it. I, I accept that. There's no evidence in the video that truly convinces me that it isn't. Wow. I mean, I... Australians have lied to me No, before. but the... Everyone's like, you know, Australia's got lots of crazy animals. That doesn't mean that this video is real, though. <laughs> no, it's no, like if you I saw a video that. of, like, an Australian dude punching Galactus in the face. You'd be like, Australia's a crazy place. Galactus is huge. <laughs> well, Rule number no, one in skepticism, if something feels true on an emotional level, it is true. That's how you can tell. <sighs> the, 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 uh, the... Why are you gluing wood to glue? Ah! Uh, <laughs> what the glue? It's what I do now. So okay, but uh, the, the but like you guys remember that video of the Australian guy when the when his girlfriend almost gets Oops. hit by lightning? Yeah. Yeah, I remember, remember that. that one. He says the funny noises. Yeah. So uh, 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 Captain D. Yeah. Made a video on that. That <laughs> one was fake. Yes. Wow. And how I could they fake a lightning that. strike? Well, no, like, did they, one, what did they one, get a mocap suit one. on a bolt of lightning? <laughs> Mankind has not progressed to the degree where we could fake a lightning strike. No, no, no. I, I never felt that way specifically Roberts. about that video. I just never thought about it, really, as if it were any glue? fake. I just kind of took it at face value. But nah, I look for that it. one is oh. easy to do. That one's not that hard to do. Making a breathing, living fucking animal move it's not with CGI. Neil Bloomcamp can do it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Also, true. moon landing. Someone alive? Oh, never mind. This level is Eight. actually too hard. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Queen of Mabalon, thank you. I'm as okay well. with it. We always do this on Windmill. What, make it too hard? Yeah, we're like, at first it's it's too, it's impossible to complete. And then that buys us like three rounds where we make hell start times like a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, that had to go. Uh, let's throw this like, <laughs> something like that. It'd be weird. We're running out of empty space. 
Okay, duck. Oh, you didn't duck. Wow. Fox, crazy, you okay? Crazy plays games. Thank you as well. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Jesus. Nope. Oh. I just saw you not, not duck oh, no. around the, uh, <laughs> the Nikita Khrushchev. This chat. Apparently, I'm like talking in my own Discord server while streaming. <laughs> Are you? I don't know. How'd you do that? I, yeah, how you, you doing know? that? I cloned myself uh, last you, night to yeah, test oh, really? this, uh, yeah, Did you have sex with yourself? Oh, the sex? Did yeah. you use, well, also, did you use rotoscoping or like how specifically? <laughs> he's still waking up. He said his eyes really hurt. And then well, I told him it's because he's never used them before. <laughs> yeah, it ain't as easy as you make it sound, dog. I think you got the right oh. idea here, though, Rob. Except, yeah. except for that part, I think you got the yeah. right idea. <laughs> I mean, I've played around in After Effects, and I couldn't make a kangaroo, so I don't think anyone else could either. Yo, full shangle. Thank you for the <laughs> sub. <laughs> I mean, the things what you gotta look for in the video are, like, like mistakes, right? Like, like, did they, did they fuck up the... Oh, come on! Oh, <laughs> you were so close. It was one tile tall. I should have been doable, man. Yeah, well, you have to be able to duck at that point, I think. So, but then that would be pretty rough. Yeah, you can't anyway. duck because it's, uh... Yeah. You're, you're vertical. You're not mm -hmm. standing on ground. You'd have to put, like, you know what you have to do is you have to put, like, another <laughs> jumper right here. Yeah. But anyway, you have to you have to look for, like, uh, like are the shadows wrong? Does the shadow no? Right. Alec Baldwin. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, Alec Baldwin. Yeah. One of them is Billy Zane. Which one's Billy Zane? Was he in... Not in the shadow. shadow. He's in a different one. Oh, I lived! Oh, oh is he in it. the Phantom? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy Zane is the Phantom. I like oh, that you knew oh, exactly what I was talking well. about, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's the... It's you know, like, like a, made... a pre-Marvel era, pretty bad <laughs> superhero movie from the 90s. Well, those weren't superheroes, actually. They were pulp heroes. But there's a distinct difference. Doesn't he have a superpower? Yeah, like, so, like, the pulp heroes were, like, pre-super... Basically pre-Superman. Oh, and... fuck. I could go no. into this, but I it's have not very I have definitive ruling and news on this information that we we're just discussing. No, I'm telling okay. you, no news matters until two <laughs> no, years. No, this from does. Gazos, thank you for the 15 months. Says I know the guy. He oh, buys oh. fuel from the petrol station I work at. <laughs> He's a very nice man who is worried about his dog. That's all. There you go. I mean, that's what boy. more? What more do you need? What more do you need than that? Yeah. Thank you, Nether Panther and Ramfish Rabbit, also for the two months resubscription. This thing yeah, has got to go. Well, I'm glad we settled that, at least, and all thank right. you again, Gazos. Well, I'll believe that. Me too. <laughs> now that we have someone corroborating the evidence uh, yeah. of him existing. This is how anecdotal evidence works, right? Like, you have two, and that's it. You're done. Yep. That's all you need. Anecdotal. <laughs> What's that thing? Equalia? Wait, how does this game work? Different colors of the same colors. Like, we all have a different framework. Am I even talking wow. about the right term there? You know what I'm I talking about? about Melan talking about Melancholia starring uh, Kirsten Dunst and Kiefer Sutherland. Good movie. Guys, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing here. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Don't You lose hearts every time a piece falls off. Oh, I hate this mode. I think I'm just going to die. NL is 100% right. So a lot of the times when I talk Why about... Why did that thing just fall? A lot of the times when I talk about things, like, I think I'm right. This time, I think I'm wrong, but like... Maybe the jury's out, you know? I do, but when people are like, NL's right, when I talk about that uh, kangaroo video being fake, that's something I'm actually, fake. that's something I'm actually passionate about. Wait, you think that's about. fake? Yes. Well, I don't, honestly, Josh, like, I know you probably want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it again. Because I don't think there's anything to, I don't think there's anything to gain from this conversation that we haven't touched upon in earlier conversation already. But I will say that, you know, in a couple years, if, if nothing has come out, then I will, um... I will accept that I'm incorrect, but I want to give it a couple exactly years. I want to. Come out. Well, if if nobody's been like, yeah, I take credit for that viral video. Why then did the zoo that that guy works for have to make a public statement about <clears throat> why he didn't get fired because people said it was? How do you know it was the zoo that the zoo? How do you know that it was the zoo that the guy worked for and not just you know some kid on 4chan setting up a a website two days before the video went viral? Mm, I guess I don't. I like, saw the video. It looks pretty real. I think it looks fake as hell. It is real. Yeah. No. Huh. Look at when he catches the kangaroo right on the chin. It flops back in like that's Pixar, dude. 
let's let's get who's the the new the guy who's getting popularity who debunks videos captain disillusionment, captain disillusionment that guy. yeah get we're, him on it we're still waiting on him wait honestly. so this is actual rain mode now right yes. this is wind tetris yeah this is the best tetris but again i want to point out like i'm not saying it is fake i'm just saying it could be fake and i'm surprised that i'm one of the few people being skeptical robert get out of here with your how could they even CGI that? Mankind put a man on the freaking moon. Can't CGI a kangaroo. I love when Rob talks about rotoscoping. This guy is... Uh, yeah, get, get rotated, son. Oh, no, you're oh, rotating my square. <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought that was gonna... Be well, it's huge! Uh, you, oh, you're just gonna fall off? Oh, okay, so I'm starting to fresh. And if... <laughs> If I'm right, I'm going to be very gracious about it. No, you're not. There will be you're, a... <laughs> you're very rarely gracious about it. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm gracious all the time. Yeah, you're a fuck. Did you see after Champions of Fire, after Cobalt bodied me, I, I, I gave him a hug? Yeah, you hugged him. I don't even know what really Champions nice. of Fire is. No, you don't... That was your, oh, that was your weird game thing. That was my esports tournament. Hey, I'm legally obligated to point out that it airs tonight on CBS Sports at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So if you want to see the two-hour edit, Champions of Fire, where hopefully they finally used my golden dialogue where I said, I'm Northern Lion and the other house guests are about to get schooled, <laughs> there's a small chance. There's a small chance. Are you serious? That's going to cost me it. I hope they say you're a Ooh, strategist again. I didn't win. I'd be I thought, a putt. Thought... Like a glove. There's like a lot of blocks just sitting in the air over there, huh? What, what are you look, doing? They're not moving. What's happening here? That drum roll so long. <laughs> it disappeared. Um. I don't think it's bring, fake. Bring, bring. I I need to, I need to see proof that it's fake. I think before I can believe that. It's I fake. Think, honestly, think Ryan would do if the kangaroo like took like Ruka or something like that. I would try to beat the shit go. out of it. Would yeah, you? No, I, yeah. If, if that's touching like one of my pets or my cats um but I'm like if if it doesn't make any sense to me that ryan thinks it's fake then what do you what that's like the weirdest that's a good point no that's, that's the weirdest argument. argument what because it's an emotional angle that's a good idea that's not think, the, the, you're no, nick you're like joke. king skeptic and you're like wait josh raises a good point <laughs> if you would do the same thing in that situation how do you believe that it's fake that's not a yeah. valid argument man why not because it doesn't have anything to do with what's actually in the video what are you talking about? What's in the video? Just because I dog, would, right? just because I would react the same way, doesn't mean that the video has any more validity. I mean, it does in the There's inverted really scenario. Sense. If he took out a fucking ray gun and disintegrated the kangaroo, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, that's probably fake. But dude, he just punched a kangaroo. It's not that hard to believe. Yeah, like I don't. Are, I, like... Is, am I the only person in chat who Nick is over here? Like, you know, don't give me GMO bananas. I'm worried about what they're gonna do to my <laughs> genetic code. But it's not that hard to believe is now a valid argument for the kangaroo video? Yeah. It just isn't. Um, Kangaroos, they're born to box. They know what it's like to take a punch. George is getting... That guy knows kangaroos, and he knows it could take a punch. And he punched it, it got stunned, and he ran away with the dog. George is getting hey. upset. George? George is getting upset. George is getting upset. Who's George? Is George from... the kangaroo? No, he's from Seinfeld. Who watches that show? You. I don't like I mean are you do you want this to be fake like No, I'm not saying I want it to be fake. I'm just saying that like, my first I feel reaction like you're trying to put no, pressure no. on me to believe you that No, it's no, no, fake. no, no, no. Not at all. You you should believe whatever you you think is most accurate. However, I will say the first <laughs> no, time I watched me every time no, I, I, I think just about yell it. at you cuz I <laughs> don't like you. But <laughs> Fishy McFishfish, fish, thank you as well. When I When I watched that video, I didn't know the reaction to it and I was like that's pretty well done. We all had a, like the VFX guys did a pretty good job on this one. And I go online and everybody's like, "Wow, what an amazing story!" The, he punched this kangaroo in the face. What a the human heroism! The dog, the bond between a man and a dog is, is such an incredible part of nature. And I'm like, really? I came in second. That's an incredible part of nature. Give me that gold <laughs> or that silver, bitch. Considering he's under investigation by the zoo he works at, I'd say it's real. Yeah, that's what I said too, but then he said it's not a fake, it's not a real zoo. I didn't say it's not a real Somebody zoo. Somebody on 4chan made up the website. I didn't say it's not a real zoo. I just said, how do you, you know? You think it's from 4chan? 
I like whenever I don't know something on the internet, I'm always like, that's a 4chan thing. Wait, what is what? what how do you play this game again? This one, don't, don't drop pieces because you lose HP. Oh, oh now I'm what? So big. I'm not giving everybody in chat five dollars if this video's fake. That's not, I just lost a, like a thousand pieces. That's not it's how an Isaac episode. That's not how the economy works. What I'm the so, fuck? I'm so goddamn stupid. It's unreal. Oh, I just lose immediately. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh! What if you had sounds? a button that gave you ten thousand dollars, but every time you did, Toma would turn into a kangaroo and ML would have to <laughs> punch it in the face when you press that button. Wait. Oh yeah, I'd press yeah, that I'd button. Press it. I'd press it too. Is the question specifically for me, or do you guys have that? It was. It was. I think it was asked to me. Well, you guys I really. Punch Tomo. You guys get an unbelievable amount of power as a result. So here's a question. <laughs> I've only used 48 blocks. Like, do I, do I lose because I used 48 blocks and you guys have 47? Like, no, I have 57. Yeah, Josh. You gotta be alive to win. I guess so. Yeah. Was I supposed to have the most? I just like the videos that I've seen on the internet that are fake are like. Wow, those are really fake. Like, it's really obvious when you just take like a, a short second to really look at it. Whereas this one is like, a choy. if you're thinking, oh man, they did a really good job. Maybe, maybe you're like, well, if I can't see the the pixels here, if I can't see the lines, then maybe, maybe it's real. Again, I'm not saying see the pixels. I'm not saying it is fake. Just that it could be fake. Well, everything could be fake with that logic. You clearly haven't watched enough Captain Disillusion because he even has a video where he says, hey, don't think everything in the world is fake just because you see a lot of fake videos. I don't think everything in the world is fake. That's not what I'm hearing. I think there's a That's chance that I'm this hearing. video is fake. But you're there's like a chance we could live inside of the Matrix. And not I'm, not, I, I'm taking a very moderate stance of like, let's this just give not it a... Not a very moderate I'm stance. I'm just saying, just because I don't agree with you doesn't mean it's not moderate. It's like, uh, you know, I'm just saying in a couple of years. It, give it a couple of years, and if I don't see somebody being like oh yeah like hire me to work on the next avengers movie because like i made this kangaroo video then i'll be more likely to be like sweet oh, all right that's my real fucking chances in any oh, <laughs> well starting fresh you'll wreck by the way it's only because i've spent so much time on that website that i'm able to identify all this garbage as soon as possible if you enjoy those tweets and i see that the hundreds of thousands of people retweet them on a regular basis by all means, continue to enjoy the tweets. Don't let me rain on your parade. As long as you recognize that the story didn't happen, that's the only thing I care about, okay? If it's on video, that's a different story. I'm still a little skeptical about the man punching the kangaroo, but, you know, I'll, I'll admit, it looks like I was wrong in that one. In the back of my head, I do think that in a few years, there'll be, like, Someone will make a post that's like, oh yeah, that kangaroo video, we faked it. Here's my YouTube channel. But for now, I have to admit, the evidence appears to show that it's real. I'm not being skeptical for skeptics, skepticism's sake. The video looks fake to me. I can't articulate why, because I, I don't know anything about videography. It just doesn't look real. That's all I'm going to say about that. Once a year, I touch on the subject of the video of the Australian man punching a kangaroo in the face to save his dog. If he actually did it, he's a hero. If he didn't do it, it's not like it's fake. It's just scripted. You know, it's a funny video. It doesn't make it any less enjoyable. Let's move along. Didn't take the ball at all. Oh, thank goodness for that little wooden rim. Ryan, when are you going to finally admit that the kangaroo video was real? It was real. My cold, dead <laughs> fucking hands. <laughs> You'll admit it when it's real, when it's with your cold, dead hands. You guys will be dead by then anyway. I don't see why you care. <laughs> uh, I think you're just jealous you didn't punch the kangaroo. I would you never put, put my cats in that delicate situation to begin with. <laughs> it was a dog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's his equivalent. Exactly. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but your cats would be, like, torn to shreds immediately. The That's dog, why I would right? never yeah, lead, let wily. them go in the outback with, with wild kangaroos all over the place. Plus, I would just shoot it, like. <laughs> <laughs> what if you miss and hit Tomo? Well, he was probably done anyway, right? <laughs> it might be a mercy kill at that point. Back up on me. Oh, you coward. 
It's a, just an 18 kill game. No big deal. Can I, uh, I gotta tell you guys, somebody posted on my subreddit yesterday that was like, does NL still believe the kangaroo, the guy punching the kangaroo video is fake? And they, I, they were right. I did admit at one point that it's real because so much time has passed since the video and nothing has come out that I, I, I believe it's real, I guess. But I was watching that video again last night and like in slow-mo as well. I still don't believe it's real. The Bro, way when he, he socks the kangaroo oh. right on the chin, the kangaroo's arms go up. Like, that's an animated model when the arms go up. It has uncanny valley. What do you know about animation? Dude, when he punches the kangaroo, it goes like... The way it looks doesn't look right. He's a boxer. Uh, my game crashed, by the way. Oh, okay, okay. Yo. That's satire? I thought it was just three very politically uh, active ladies who were big fans of John McCain. So you never know what's, what's satire on the internet and what's not. And that's why I'm still, and you know what I'm going to say. If you watch a lot of stuff, you know what I'm going to say already. That's why I'm still convinced. And by convinced, I mean about 50.1% sure, like Lucien Bouchard, um, that... That video where the guy in Australia punches the kangaroo in the face. I just I just think there's a little CG. That's all I'm saying. And honestly, the more we argue about it, the more I become convinced that I'm right. Because people use unfair argumentation tactics. Oh, you don't believe a kangaroo could really grab someone's dog? No, I didn't say that. All I'm saying is that when the kangaroo squares up, it looks a little suspicious. I'm 49.9% convinced that it's real. I'm just 50.1%, you know, asking the question right now. I used to be about 80-20. I'll admit, as time has gone on and nobody has taken credit for the kangaroo CG, I find myself, uh, you know, losing confidence. And, and really, it's not just, like, I'm not afraid of being wrong. It's just that, you know, I, I'm, I'm willing to accept, you know, if, if many years go by and nobody takes credit, then I believe that it is, I, I increasingly believe that it is real. You know, this isn't like a hill to die on. I'm just exercising what I see as a healthy level of suspicion about it. The irony, of course, is that everybody thinks that I'm insane for this. But of the people that think I'm insane, about 1% of them also think that vaccines carry microchips. So I, I am, I'm, it's the opposite of a steel man for sure. I'm using the straw man argumentation technique. It's worked very well for me in the past. I'm just saying, sometimes we all believe in some irrational things that have no evidence, but to our eyes look a little bit suspicious. At least I'm, I'm able to accept that, uh, you know, let, let me put it this way. If Captain Disillusion looks at the kangaroo video and says, without a doubt, this is real footage, my level of convince will go up to like 95. I'll be 95% convinced it's real. And 5% uh, I'll maintain some skepticism, but certainly not enough to call it into question on the regular. That's within the realm of scientific confidence. And I, you know, I just like, I don't trust sometimes what I see on video, and I don't trust what other people think they see on video. It's not like a deep fake kind of like suspicion or anything like that. It's more like, you know, you ever play, like if you played video games back in, you know, let's say like the dawn of the 3D era, you know, like around the PlayStation 1 especially, um, you, the, here's the situation that would happen constantly. You know, you would be at like your friend's house, you'd be playing like, you know, NBA you know, 1998 or something like that, NBA Live 1998. And then you would see, like, you know, a player model of Shaquille O'Neal that was made up of, like, nine polygons. And the, your friend's dad would walk in and go, Whoa! <laughs> Is that a photograph of Shaquille O'Neal? It looks so realistic. This is like, dude, where are games even going to go from here now that they've you know, made exact spitting images of, of players' real-world likenesses. You know, back in the day, you you look at it now, and it looks like somebody, like, put a sock, like a stocking over their head, like they were going to rob a bank, and then, like, a, a printed-out picture of Shaq. 
But in 1998, all I can say, obviously the photo has not changed, but our perceptions have changed. It looked photorealistic just because our concept of computer graphics was like, you know, we, we were in a period of naivete, right? I'm just saying, maybe the kangaroo video looks realer now than it will in, you know, five to ten years. But anyway, this is just this is my own personal conspiracy theory. It's probably the closest thing to a conspiracy theory I actually uh, harbor in my life. Is, and it makes people angrier than some of the conspiracy theories that I consider actually harmful, which is very strange to me, but also kind of like a good microcosm, I guess, of what it's just like to be on the internet in general. Regardless, though, I think, you know what I think would solve a lot of problems in the world today? Um, one easy one is like everybody agreeing with me would help out a lot. However, the other one is I think people need to start getting more value out of just knowing they're right instead of telling other people they're right. Like, I'll be honest with you, I think a lot of other people are wrong a lot. And I think I've got the best opinions on just about everything, pretty much. But I don't even like get in that many arguments over it. Because I just, in my head, I'm like, I already know that I'm right. I'm confident, and I've got that, that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. As a result, I think I have a lot more friends than I would have had if I, if I wanted to argue about it all the time. You know what I mean? I think it's healthier this way. Five percent chance to beat a bear. I mean, I'll just I'll keep arguing over that one and the kangaroo video because I'm telling you, I do want to be clear. I'm not a hundred percent confident that kangaroo video is not real. However, I am one hundred percent confident that it might be fake. And as a result, you never know. It's a pretty funny video. I mean, it's, it's got to be like one of my favorite video archetypes, which is like zoo animals getting their revenge. Or no, maybe not getting their revenge. Let's be a big rodent. But, like, it's a you-will-never-get-this sort of moment. And then, like, one day he got this. Yeah, you don't think the kangaroo video is real? I would like to add some nuance to that. <coughs> Pardon me. I would, like, I would like to say that I think that the kangaroo video is real, but it looks fake. There's a subtle delineation there. It's an interesting start here. I believe that it is real footage. On a logical level, I accept that it's real footage. As a person with eyeballs, it looks fake as hell. You were adamant that it was fake? Okay, and you used to like shit your pants every day for two years. People change. Oh, do you stand by this take that you made under duress seven years ago with 2,000 people pressing you about it? No, fuck off. Get out of here. Close your damn NL referential spreadsheet you got open. Get a life. This is crazy, man. You were shitting your pants five days ago? That was for medical reasons, okay? It's illegal to make fun of me for that. Okay, this frilled dragon is gonna go fucking off. 